So I'm senior technical product manager at VMware, and I will talk about um, this one here, uh, VMware with integrated containers, VK, PKS, and open source stuff. So integrated containers, what's that? It consists basically of three pieces. One is a web interface, it's the Harbor registry, and the so-called VIG engine. And what's the VIG engine? It gives the, the user, which in that case is using Docker, the illusion of a big Linux system. You create a vSphere resource pool by a command, it's called VIG machine create, and you get this pool, so to say, and you can talk to an API endpoint and actually shut uh, shoot the uh, Docker commands against it. The good thing about this, it's one container in one virtual machine, so the vSphere admin actually sees the containers, can do micro-segmentation with NSX, uh, even billing, uh, everything which works with uh, virtual machines can be done with containers. But it's not an orchestration engine, right? It's just for running containers, actually quite useful for stateful services, things like that uh, in the cloud. Uh, you see that also from Microsoft, from others doing the same thing. We actually did that three years ago already. Um, the registry, which is part of it, has image scanning, uh, image signing. Um, you also can replicate um, re registries between uh, different... You can uh, replicate images between registries, sorry. So that was the first one. The second one is about uh, Pivotal Container Service, which is a collaboration of VMware, Pivotal, and also Google at some places. And as you see at the bottom left, you have that one running on vSphere with all the integration I talked about yesterday, NSXT, uh, vSAN, uh, vSphere integration. You can also run it in the cloud, but you still manage it on your own, right? It's because on AWS, uh, on uh, Google Cloud Platform and soon also on Azure, but you run it and manage it on your own. That's the difference, right? You consume infrastructure, don't build it yourself, but you still operate Kubernetes on your own. I mean, using a framework like PKS. What they use, of course, I told that yesterday, it's, uh, it's Bosch, basically, uh, using the Kubo or CFCR project, spinning up Kubernetes cluster, managing them, doing lifecycle management, updating, fixing stuff, things like that. So it can spin up very easily multiple clusters. The third one is the fully managed system. It's a SaaS offering. You might ask, why do you need that? I mean, there is, for each cloud provider, there are these kind of offerings. It's something which will run on every place the same, right? We use, just use the cloud environment, but you, we, we run it the same. Um, it has some integration with the services, as we have seen before in, in the IBM Cloud, right? You can have it integrated with AWS services if you run it on AWS. If you run it on other clouds, you have another integration. And actually, you see at the bottom, VKE cluster create. That's how you create a cluster. Uh, with uh, VIC, it was VIC machine create, a virtual container host, which is a resource pool, and then Docker run. Last thing. Um, it has a concept of smart clusters. That's actually quite interesting. Also a policy framework. Smart clusters mean when you spin up a VKE cluster, it has no uh, worker nodes running yet. As soon as you do a cube control, run something, or apply something, or Helm install, it, we will actually spin up uh, nodes in the background as soon as you need them, and also uh, delete them again if you don't use any resources anymore. So it's kind of auto-scaling in an automatic fashion. That's a smart cluster uh, framework. Also, the policy framework is actually pretty interesting. Last slide. Um, you also have a lot of open source projects. I mean, used in a lot of places. If you use, uh, for example, on Linux, uh, Open vSwitch, which was a solution from Nisera, which then, be then became uh, NSX later on. That's a project which is now part of the Linux Foundation. But you see there is much more stuff. This mini Linux Photon OS, which we use for the vCenter server. Clarity is actually a, a HTML5 UI framework uh, to create our own uh, website, uh, everything. Harbor, Liotta is a um, Internet of Things uh, framework, and a lot more, right? Maybe the last one I want to mention is Hatchway, which is um, 
storage for Docker and Kubernetes cluster, where you can use vSAN policies to attach to pods, which is very interesting. So you have more I.O., more bandwidth for each pod. And the dispatch project is kind of an enterprise umbrella around some uh, function as a service frameworks. And I am a little bit ashamed that I forgot to put OpenFast on the slide. That should also be there. Actually, the developers now working for VMware. That's it. I stayed with my five minutes. Is there the next speaker already here, or is that the end? That seems to be the end. Then thank you.